What if humanity had a countdown timer to its own potential destruction? Well it does and it's called the Doomsday Clock. This symbolic timepiece first created in 1947 serves as a stark reminder of our planet's vulnerabilities. The clock's hands move, not with the passing of hours but with the shifting dynamics of global threats. As the hands edge closer to midnight they symbolize our proximity to a world-altering disaster. This isn't just any ordinary clock. It's a barometer of mankind's survival, a gauge of our collective actions and their potential to either safeguard or jeopardize our existence. Threats like climate change, nuclear weaponry and political instability have the power to push these hands forward, to take us closer to the metaphorical midnight. The clock is relentless, it's unforgiving but it's also a call to action. With each tick, the clock's hands edge closer to midnight, symbolizing our proximity to a global disaster. So what exactly pushes the minute hand of the doomsday clock closer to midnight? Let's explore. The doomsday clock is not a whimsical creation. It's driven by real tangible threats that loom over our world. The first of these threats is climate change. As global temperatures rise and weather patterns become increasingly unpredictable, the clock's minute hand inches forward. Next, we have the looming presence of nuclear weapons. These destructive forces hold the power to wipe out civilizations in a blink of an eye. The proliferation and potential use of these weapons are a significant factor that drives the clock. Lastly, political unrest and instability also play a critical role. When tensions escalate between nations, the threat of conflict increases, and so does the time on the doomsday clock. But who decides how much these threats move the clock? This responsibility falls on the shoulders of leading scientists and experts. Every year they gather to assess the state of the world. They meticulously evaluate scientific research, scrutinize political developments and analyze significant global events. Their collective judgment then determines how much the minute hand of the doomsday clock moves. It's a grave task, a stark reminder of the world's vulnerabilities. It's a sobering thought that the hands of the clock are moved based on an assessment of scientific research, political developments and global events. Now, you might be wondering, what's the current time on the doomsday clock? The answer is a chilling one. We currently stand at a daunting 100 seconds to midnight. This is not just a number, it's a stark warning. It's the closest we've ever been to global catastrophe since the clock's inception back in 1947. This isn't just a wake-up call, it's a blaring alarm, a siren in the night. It's a call to arms for everyone who calls this planet home. We're living on borrowed time and every second that ticks by is a reminder of the monumental task that lies ahead. We have to face the harsh reality that we are teetering on the edge of our own possible destruction. But it's not all doom and gloom, it's a call to action, a plea for change, an opportunity to make a difference. With the clock at 100 seconds to midnight, we are closer than ever to our own potential destruction. But it's not all doom and gloom, there's still time to turn back the clock. We are not helpless spectators in this unfolding drama. We are the actors and we have the power to change the script. The doomsday clock is not a prophecy set in stone, it's a call to action. We can slow down the countdown by taking deliberate and collective actions. So, what can we do? Firstly we can support renewable energy. The burning of fossil fuels is a key factor driving climate change which is one of the biggest threats pushing the clock towards midnight. By supporting renewable energy sources like solar, wind and hydro, we can help reduce our carbon footprint and slow down the warming of our planet. Secondly, we can advocate for disarmament. The world is brimming with nuclear weapons, and the risk of a catastrophic accident or conflict is ever-present. By raising our voices against the proliferation of these weapons, we can help create a safer world. Lastly, we can participate in peaceful activism. We can raise awareness, protest against injustice, and demand action from our leaders. Every step we take, no matter how small, counts. Together, we have the power to change the course of history and protect our planet from the ticking time bomb we're living with. Remember, the doomsday clock is not just a symbol, it's a reminder that the future is in our hands. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please subscribe for more engaging content. Before we wrap up, here's what you can do. Knowledge is power, and sharing it is the first step towards making a difference. We encourage you to share this video to raise awareness about the doomsday clock and the threats we face. By spreading the word, you're helping to inform others and inspire action. And remember, staying informed is key. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Every subscription helps us reach more people, and together, we can make a difference.
So, share this video, subscribe, and let's work together to turn back the doomsday clock. Together, we can rewrite the script and change the course of history. Remember, the future is in our hands. Let's make it count.